Uh, si Miss Nelsie po, ano, ayan, nag invite ngayon sa background. So, good Hello. afternoon, Thank everyone. Uh, in a few minutes, <laughs> we are uh, about to begin uh, for uh, how to ano, no, earn. Yun na lang, no, how to earn while working from home with uh, Miss uh, Mitzi. Valentin. Ayan. So, in a few minutes po. So, please invite your uh, friends, uh, your family na ano, no, to, to join us as uh, Miss Mitzi will share her uh, techniques on how, uh, in addition, on how to raise uh, three children while uh, working in the comfort <laughs> of her home ayan so please invite po no please invite uh, your friends a uh, girl power daw no it's a girl power day and uh, probably uh, miss Rochelle uh, will also be uh, joining us as ano uh, co-host So once more in a few minutes, uh, we are about to begin uh, as uh, Miss uh, Mitzi uh, will share her techniques Ayan, on how to be uh, successful in uh, working at home. Tama ba? Working from or working at? Ayan, so good afternoon, Ma'am uh, Rochelle and uh, Vilo. Uh, link sent to you, Miss uh, Rochelle. Ayan, so. Ayan, so watching. Pag watching ata, no, uh, if it appears na link in user lang, uh, probably uh, you are not my, ano, ah, uh, LinkedIn connection. So, kung hindi po kita <laughs> LinkedIn connection, uh, inviting you, no? Um, uh, yeah, please so connect. Watching. Pag watching ata, no? Uh, if it, it appears
Hindi <laughs> naman. <laughs> Yes. Yes, support dapat. Yes. Hi, Jomar. Good afternoon, Nada. Hi, good afternoon. Hi, Miss Mitzi. How are Hello. you? Hello. I'm good. How about you? I'm good so far. It's early in the day, but it's a very happy time. Sabi ni Jomar, all girl power daw. <laughs> <laughs> but we welcome anybody and everybody because yes. I'm sure that they will pick up a lot of good lessons from your experiences right so yes uh, there were some who messaged me and asked me better wait so the speaker is a single mom but i'm a guy is there anything that i can get out of that do yes. you want to clarify that a little bit while we're all yes. waiting yeah um it's i'm a single mom but it's for everyone um dads um advance happy, uh, happy father's day nga pala for dads yes. uh, single dads even single like if you're single a uh, guy girl it's mm. for everyone because um right now diba new normal nga and i know that a lot of people are looking at working from home so i'll touch up on like how you get you can get started uh, yeah. working from home and what you'll need just a little bit of you know things the right. tips that i can give Right. And and I think that's good clarification for everybody because I know that um, just based on the live comments, we have a lot of uh, we have a lot of participants, male or female. Yes. Um, and so I think it's a I think it's a really good audience. And again, just to clarify for everybody who just joined, this is a really good session where we can learn from Miss Mitzi about how she has managed to manage to juggle raising three boys three boys patalaga, all yes. on her own <laughs> while while earning income from home kasi um if i'm i mean i don't know about you joe mark but in my experience kasi uh i was i started off traditionally where after graduation you had to get into the corporate world you had to uh you had to start working in an office right and yes. like in a physical space but um, but now we're discovering and a lot of people are coming to appreciate, ah, so I can really work from home or work at home. Joe Mark, I'd, I'd like to address that. It's okay. Work at home, work from home. Those prepositions um, still work for both. So <laughs> so that's perfectly okay. fine. You were on the right track. But uh, I think, I think re regardless of whatever your status is in life, um, kung ano man ang status niyo sa love relationship niyo, there are a lot of things to pick up um, for the next hour. Yes.
Wala <laughs> naman problema yan. I mean, there's still blessings din naman eh. Yes. What blessings matters is, <laughs> yes, and, and I think what matters is uh, how you get back on track when you come across challenges and adversity, right? Right. Mm-mm. Exactly. Which I, and again, I bet marami kayo mga stories. <laughs> 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 Roch na lang, Jo Mark. <laughs> Roch na lang, haba ng Rochelle. Eh. Parang feeling ko pinapagalitan ako ng magulang ko haba ng Rochelle. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, that's <ito>, all. <laughs> Buti pa. Oh, yun na nga. <laughs> um, actually, matagal na, but then it was like, hindi ko naman siya ginagalaw. Gumawa lang ako ng profile. Walang picture, ganyan. And, until I met uh, Miss Virginia. So, yun talaga yung nagkasama kami sa work. Sa work from home na nakuha ko yung... And then, siya yung nagsabi sa akin na I need to optimize my profile. So, she gave me two days. <laughs> and then, <laughs> so, ginawa ko. And from then on, you know, I've been working. I'm using LinkedIn. So, yes. <laughs> ano, one, ano lang. One batch lang na. Pero sakto yan. Okay yan. At least. <laughs> Good research, Joe Mark. <laughs> At so, 2017, ito na ko talaga na seriously ginamit na yung um, late 2017 LinkedIn profile ko. And since then, talagang it helps. So everyone, I encourage you to optimize your profile. Pwede mo kayo mag-research on how, how to do it or Miss Virginia can help you if you're not already connected with her on LinkedIn. She will... Definitely. She also holds, like, I believe, like workshops on like doing LinkedIn optimization. She does. I have a, I have a confession to make. My confession is um, I only discovered the wonders of LinkedIn just this year. <laughs> <laughs> early this year. Lang. I'm, I was already connected as early as I think late 2000s, eh, mga 2009 mm. or something. Eh. And then it's the, it was the same thing. I had my picture there, and then it seemed like it was just an online CV in case there were any mm-hmm. opportunities that could come my way, so on and so forth. Parang, and so I didn't know until, or I didn't discover until until I made connections like Joe Mark and everybody else in the mm-hmm. LinkedIn community. And I said, huh, so this is a really huge platform. And it's like a, you get to meet so many people from so many walks of life. And, yes. and learn so many things outside of just the one industry that you've always been in. So um, for anybody who is uh, in this live stream right now, regardless of the channel, I encourage you guys to maximize and optimize your LinkedIn subscription, get into conversations like this, have it insightful exchanges so that you can learn more than what you already know today. Yes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Medyo na throw off lang. I was going to that sa ano ko, sa presentation. Introduction. Na. Yeah, it's like out 
tell everyone about a little bit about my story para din ma-inspire kayo kasi I think you know I even one person that I can inspire and help I think that'd be enough so mm. you can change the world one person at a time yes yeah, so. mm. very nice two minutes left before we start yeah all right so how many do we have in the chat room so far Joe Mark <laughs> na fake news ako dyan sa background mo dati Jomar kasi kaya sa office si Jomar kung galing <laughs> walang mask <laughs> For those who and, and kahit hindi girlfriends, pwede naman kahit anong status in life. Hmm. Mga barkada, ganyan. <laughs> ano, dahil batchmate din ba? <laughs> Wave it. <laughs> nice. Malayo yung binyahe. Hmm. Uh -uh. Or just start, just with the intention to start having a conversation lang. Yung basa-basong mag add ka lang ng connections. Kasi I don't know about you guys, but I've been I've been seeing a lot of people who, who may have a lot of connections, but it's not really a connection. So just attempt at least to have, to engage in a good conversation with whoever you're connecting with. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Can you see? My stars. My star effect. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, wait. Sorry. Paano ba ito? Sorry. <laughs> okay, let me share my screen.
Okay. Um, thank you for having me, uh, first of all, and I'm excited and to tell you about yung journey ko on how I became a work from home single mom. Hold on, sorry. Can you still see the timer? My timer put it. Ah, oh, okay. Sorry. Oh, I turned it off. <laughs> All right, wait. Okay, then go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 So, how I beca became a work from home single mom. So a little bit about, about my story. So yeah, I have three boys and my husband, si Steve. So what happened, kaya ako naging single mom is, no, last 2017, he passed away. So um, it's actually, ano siya, he had a, a severe al allergy sa peanuts. So yun, he nakakain siya ng peanuts at work and he went into um, anaphylactic shock. And so yun, um, yes. Uh, kaya, ano yun, Feb 2017, and at that time, my our boys are, were 14, that are my eldest, tapos yung dalawa, they look, twin, they look like twins, but hindi. Um, one, Jackson, is was uh, four years old, and the Johnson was three years old. So yun, so I had, mapata pa sila at that time, and I was working with a pharmaceutical company, so 12 years na ako doon. And of course, when my husband passed away, I didn't really know like what to do. Kasi yung work ko, like almost, I almost work like six days a week and then more than eight hours a day. And so uh, si Steve, he worked at night. So ako sa morning. So parang nag, ano kami, salitan with the kids. Tapos may yayang isa. Like we had it. Um, we had, parang we supported each other. Kung ano, like what he needed, what I needed, and he, we always cheered each other on, like best friend. Like you said, mo kanina, John Mark, na kailangan if you're gonna find someone, yung, uh, ba, yung somebody that you can grow with. So we did, we grew on with our family, and of course he was my best friend. So syempre, nung nawala siya, like my world like crumbled. Kasi syempre, like lahat ng decisions ko sa kanya, like I would call him. And like, ano, what do I need? What should I do? Ganyan. So, ngayon naging mag-isa na lang ako. And I, it wasn't so easy kasi three boys. How am I gonna, di ba? How, paano ko maitatago yun yung family ko? How am I supposed to like do everything by myself? So, yun. Um, Nag-resign ako sa, dun sa 12-year job ko sa, sa pharmaceutical company. Kasi... Parang for me, I decided to be with my kids. So, I mean, I didn't want to resign kasi sayang eh. I've been there for a long time. Tapos, um, I really love the job. So that's why I stayed. And But I had to choose between family or work and career. Tapos, I, you know, I spoke to my mom and sabi niya, you know, do what you think is right and para sa kids mo. So, I, you know, no, yung kids. And... Kasi ayaw nilang magpaiwan kahit kanino. It's just me. And parang siguro na trauma sila. Like alam nila na wala si daddy but they don't know what happened. Kasi hindi na nila nakikita everyday. Kasi si daddy was very in, like you know inaalagaan involved. sila. So, yes, he's very involved father. So talagang alam nila wala siya but they don't know what happened. So parang tuwing hindi nila ako nakikita natatakot sila or may iyak. So I had to really leave the job. So syempre after nung naging okay na um, yung second child second kid ko nag-start na rin siya ng nursery so i started thinking like like 3 4 months onward on to the uh, down the line 
I ka- kailangan ko mag-work. I mean, I can't just be like at home. <laughs> Paano ko, how will I earn? So, nag-start ako like applying another like office jobs. You know, something like pharmaceutical companies, something on health, healthcare, kasi dun ako sanay. Marami nakukuha ko, but the thing is, pagka yung time na ng sinasabi na lang schedule, like 8 to 5, 9 to 5, Monday to Friday, like, naisip ko, doon ako nag-stop, like, how, am I, how about my kids? Um, sino maghahatid sa school? Like, sino magbabantay? Doon, doon parati napupunta eh, like, how, how, how will I do everything? And gusto ko rin, I wanna be with my kids, but I need to earn. So, doon ako nag-decide on working from home. Um, I, wala ako, I went in blind. Wala akong alam, like, as in, hindi ko alam kung how will I start, where will I go, and wala pa naman ako masyadong friends, well, kilala na nag-work from home, everybody's in the corporate world, so talagang I started off like zero or working from home. So yun, and now, so that's how I'm gonna discuss the how I got started. So, nag-isip ako like, ano bang skills ko? Just like if you watched um, Jane's presentation before, she talked about the different skills and kung ano yung dapat ilagay. And ako inisip ko din, like, ano ba yung kaya ko? I, before, I know I can speak English well. Um, tapos, ang pinag ko sa school, marketing and communication. So, ano ba ang pwede? So, I started off, okay, so ESL, so English as a Second Language Tutor, tsaka call center, di ba merong mga work from home na, ano, that's nights yung work, and then, magkocalls ka. So, yun. But, um, yun yung mga in ko, ESL, but, hindi ako masyadong, um, nag, ano, sa ESL, because, kailangan naka-video, and then yung kids ko, they're always like, nasa video, and, parang, you'll fail if you do that, kailangan, ano ka, um, maganda yung background, maayos, so, Tapos yung sa call center naman, when the guy interviewed me, he said that parang malungkot ako. <laughs> so, naka-video kami. Tapos parang he thinks that parang mag-aano yun if I like talk to clients. Parang malungkot ako, which is true. But yun, um, think about your skills, like what you can do, social media, um, kung anong kaya mong gawin, if you can draw, if you can do like, um, you know, make content. Uh, and then if you, marunong ka magsulat, if you can write well, so yun, lagay mo lahat yun, isipin mo. And then, the next thing, um, build your resume and um, your or portfolio if you have like different things that you've done in the past or just a resume, that's what I did. So nilagay ko yung mga skills ko and then yung mga experience ko, past experience. But after college kasi, nag, one year nag ano, ko, call center. So may background ako sa call center, so nilagay ko yun. And then, so, ito, this is like the most, di, ito talaga yung dapat na uh, keep in mind, you take to take free and paid online courses. Kasi, doon ako talaga natuto. But ako, I didn't know, I didn't know like doing, how to do LinkedIn lead generation, which is what I'm doing now. Yung social media ma- management, I didn't know how to do that. Nag, ano ko sa YouTube, so YouTube, Google first, yun dalawa. Kaso kasi, kasi marami ka talagang mahanap, marami kang makikita no, on how to do this, how to do that. Mas maganda kasi sa like Udemy, sa FH Moms, if you're, um, you can join that group sa Facebook, but I mean, you don't have to be like a mom. Anybody can join. And then LinkedIn Learning, doon kasi may certificate when you um, take the courses. So, kasi maganda yung, yung certificate. Kasi malalagay mo siya sa resume mo. Um, so para pag nag-apply ka, makikita nung, nung um, employee, employer na, oh, meron siyang, meron siyang, he knows, she knows something about this or she knows something about that. So, yeah, free Yan talaga yung advice ko. Even you can start with that. Take free and paid online courses. Pagka naisip mo on what you niche you want to go, go into. And then the where to look. So, lahat sinalihan ko. Um, I went on Facebook. Parang search ako work from home jobs. Um, virtual assistant jobs. And Google. Um, right now, I'm 
part of, meron akong LinkedIn profile, sa online jobs, meron ako sa free up, meron ako in Upwork. So, free up and Upwork are similar kasi sila yung ay approve nila yung profile mo if you create one, tapos sila yung, meron silang mga clients. Oh, well, actually, no. Free up, may silang clients na parang ibibigay sa'yo or I think you fit this job. Sa Upwork naman, ikaw kasi yung maghahanap or they, will, they can approach you. And yung sa VA Hub, um, it's maganda kasi dyan because they take anybody kahit wala kang experience. Um, nag-apply din kasi ako before but hindi ko na lang din tinuloy. But yung walang experience and then they will train you. So train ka nila. So right then and there, pagka okay ka, sila na magbibigay ng client sa'yo. So maganda siya for if you are really a starter. And then, of course, LinkedIn, like, can't stress enough na, please, optimize your profile. Um, Diyan talaga, marami kang matututunan. Marami kang, like, there's a lot of jobs where you can um, apply for. And Facebook. Facebook, marami din. Like, joining two groups. Ganon. And, okay, so, for, like, the groups, um, kasi noon, like, when I first started, syempre, wala naman akong places na matanungan kung sino yung pwede, kung paano ko gagawin to, paano ko. These, these are just some of, like, the groups that you can join. But, ang dami pa, ang dami pa sa Facebook na pwede kang mag-join and makita mo talaga yung, like, you can read, everyone will post, like, uh, you know, like, oh, oh, this is, this is my experience, this is how I learned, or, oh, ito, like, they post jobs, job openings, so, marami, like, if you just keep reading, reading, uh, research, dyan, and then, ang dami mong, may meetups pa nga, like, sa FH Moms, I know they, um, they do meetups, tapos, marami siyang free and, um, paid courses, si Mami MK, so, like, those yun yun yung parang naging community ko like um, i was always like online looking at the groups and nagtitingin ako like oh um dibinabasa ko yung mga experience ng mga tao kung saan siya, how she started kung paano siya nakakuha ng work and um it's not easy i know when you get started sobrang ma overwhelm ka kasi you don't know where to start you don't know what to do parang ako sobra kong i was parang na-overwhelm ako and parang kaya ko ba to? Uh, I mean, how am I gonna do this? But, kasi, I had to. Kasi I had, may three boys ako and hindi ako pwedeng, I can't give up. So, always have the uh, mindset na don't give up. Um, just keep going. Kasi, like, if you don't, parang, parang pag na-depress ka, wala na. And just, don't worry about it. Like, if today you don't get the job, tomorrow don't you don't get the job basta keep going ako um also just to share like three to five applications a day ang pinapasa ko dati when i first started every day nagpapasa ko papasa and parang nadidepress na ako nung kasi parang walang tumatawag um but yun um nabigyan naman ako nabigyan naman ako ng opportunity when yung finally may tumawag uh it was um work from home and then kailangan ng CEO ng somebody with a background in sales and then marketing and so since galing ako sa pharmaceutical company uh, and nakita niya na 12 years ako doon yun din yung hinahanap niya somebody that he knows that will stay and tas yun doon ko actually na meet si Miss Virginia tapos doon ka doon na and um doon na kami nakapag-start like she talked about kasi nag-handle siya ng LinkedIn doon and doon na doon kami nag, like, always kinasabihan niya ako, okay, you need to um, optimize your profile, ganito yung gawin mo. And she said that it will help. And it does. It did. It, it did help me. And also, um, pag kami nakilala kayo when you start working from home, just be kind to everyone. Kasi lahat ng matkikilala mo, like, sa lahat ng mga kasama mo sa work, one day makikita mo siya sa like another place and you don't ever know they can give you another you know referrals kasi diba kasi like with miss virginia she knows na 
maayos akong katrabaho, she knows. So, parang libre, oh, ito kailangan ng, ano, i-refer kita. Kasi, kung, so your attitude um, also plays a big part, especially online, kasi hindi naman kayo parating nagkikita. So, so ito, these are just the basic things na kailangan when you get started. Um, laptop or a desktop, so 4 gig RAM, i3, and then Windows 10, ito yung mga hinahanap nila. Um, if you can get it like higher than, you know, than this, uh, go for it. Pero ito yung basic. And pag uh, kasi mga ano, tatanungin nila, okay, can I get a screenshot of your um, yung specs ng laptop mo? Tapos pag hindi siya, ma, um, you know, up to what they want, um, they'll say na bili ka muna ng, ng bago, ganyan. So, uh, so if you're just gonna start, might as well get yung kailangan. And then a noise cancel cancellation headset. Like, Para din like interviews and if you are planning on um, working like yung mga call center, ganyan. Um, and then to perform meetings with clients. Um, so also yung internet, gawin mo ng 5 Mbps pataas kasi yun din yung inahanap. Kasi ako nun, 3 Mbps lang kami. So every time na nag, nagtetest kami, um, speed test kasi kailangan yun. Parang, oh mababa, kailangan mo 5 Mbps. So might as well get uh, up upgraded or kung mag-start ka, just get 5 Mbps. And, yung backup internet mo, um, kasi nag-ask nag sila most of the time, like, you can do pocket Wi-Fi, yung smart bro, like that. Um, that would be good. Office desk, office chair, if you don't have, well, kahit hindi na yan, but um, down the road, syempre, para ma-feel mo rin na you're working, yung nasa office ka, kasi, di ba? Tsaka, para conducive din, kasi yes. masakit na nakaupo ka all day. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yung maganda ng chair, bibili ka man naman, yung hindi na, yung comfortable na para naman, ano, di ba? Tsaka, yun nga, para ding feeling mo nasa office ka and you're masaya ka po mag-work. <laughs> right. Ah, okay. That's good. Nago work. Oh, yeah. Mga maganda nga yun. That's a good uh, tip. But <laughs> ako ay susundan pa rin ako even if I have it. <laughs> sunod na sunod nyo. <laughs> Kaya mahirap like today, um, sinabihan ko talaga sila na please, ano, I'm gonna be online. So, <laughs> sumabay. Yes, sunod na sunod. <laughs> so, um, ways of communication na, ano, na you need, parang familiarize mo na before you start, uh, Skype, meron pa din mga clients that they like to use Skype for calls, uh, meetings, nag-video call, uh, WhatsApp, kasi syempre pag ibang bansa, like US, ganyan, so Slack, that's for more of for group, if malaki yung company na mapapasukan mo. Zoom, yes, of course. Uh, LinkedIn, like, you know, there's messages and Google Hangouts. The, you sh those are the ones that na nagagamit namin. And actually, marami pa. There's so much. And ang dami talaga na gusto ko ma ma maturo. And, but that's gonna be like for another, ano, ito just, just how you can get started. Like, sky, these are the basic ones that you'll need. And email, of course. Um para din sa mga communications with the clients. Yes, see, it's all, it also depends on where your clients or your audience is based. No? Kasi, like yeah. here in the Philippines, I don't, kung, I don't know about you guys, but a lot of people use Viber versus in the Northern American sites, tsaka sa Singapore, ang sikat WhatsApp. Ah, right? what's okay. okay. Mm -mm, yeah. Oh, oh, when you when you tell them do you use Viber, they're gonna be like, what? And yes. then, it's like, oh, it's just like WhatsApp. Oh, okay, I've never heard of that. Uh oh, yes, WhatsApp. Yeah, you're right. WhatsApp. Pagka sa US, pag North America, WhatsApp. Um, Skype. Uh, New Zealand. New Zealand and. Oh, I don't. I don't. Heard. I haven't heard. Alam ko sa Korea meron din like. Um, yung nag ESL ako for Korea, Korean uh, clients. Ayun, Kakao, yes. It's ang weird. Oh. <laughs> oh, yes, Kakao. I've heard of that, but I've never used it. 
Kasi yeah. ano siya eh, Korean, parang Korean talaga yata or something so. Ah, okay. So don't don't come in a communicate. Ah, yes, TikTok, yes. Chinese show. Ayan, so payment methods that na mag-open ka na, like if you're gonna start, open, mag ano ka na rin ito, para when they ask you like, oh, what do you have? Do you have PayPal? Mostly PayPal. Um, kasi nag-start ako, wala naman akong PayPal. I had to, I had to YouTube na how to create one and ganun. So, open na ng PayPal and then nagkaroon din ako ng client na they use TransferWise and Payoneer but like, ano lang yun. So, sobrang konti, mostly PayPal. And then, um, PayMaya or Gcash. Kasi, pagka nakuha man up sa PayPal, how will you, paano mo basta transfer? Um, you can transfer it dun sa bank mo, like if BBI, BPI, BPO. But it takes like two to three days, I believe. With Gcash and PayMaya, makuha mo siya like real time. So, kung kailangan na talaga. It's parang, kasi may card din yan eh, you can withdraw it. Mawi with your mm-hmm. card. Master card na. Mm-hmm. Yes. Pwede mo rin siya gamitin like online purchases. So, mas maganda yon if you like want to get your money right away. Kasi pagka sa BPI, like video, three days, four days. So, matagal. I think, least, it, I, I think maximum is let's see it's five business days. Five kasi days. Oh. kaka-transfer ko lang from PayPal to my to my bank yesterday. Oh, yun. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, five days. So, matagal. But, the last if you need the buy, if you need the money. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, 48 na nga, 48 na. Oh. Ang baba. Yes. Transfer wise, malaki, maganda ang transfer wise. I think the bottom line here is regardless of whatever the channel is, at least there are many options. So you just have to make sure that these methods are available for your clients when you start working from home because you can never tell what they actually are used to using. Yes, yes. Para ano, just familiarize yourself para gumawa ka na and meron ka na right away pag nakakuha ng client. Yes. Yeah, I have PayPal. I have enough. So you hindi ka na hindi na ma-delay ang pay, 'di ba? We want right. uh, oh, oh. yung, yung pera natin. So. And again, that goes back to where they're where they're based. Eh. Kasi again, most Northern American clients would like to use PayPal. They're, they know PayPal because they don't know PayMaya, they don't know GCash or anything like that. So <laughs> Um, chaga alang. We just need to adjust to whatever they already have and what they're used to. And and besides, three days, five days, at least the the you already know that the money is there. Yes, right, mm-hmm. correct. Okay, so um, for my for schedule, actually, um, it really depends on the job that you're gonna get. But ako kasi since my three kids ako, um, I'm also a driver. I'm also a yaya. I'm also <laughs> that. Yes, yes, so I'm <laughs> I'm the dad, so mom. So and my young eldest ko kasi, he's very busy with um extra curricular activities. Meron siyang like school shop plus um he plays basketball. So nung like every, pag summer I bring him everywhere like mga camps ganyan sa school after practice susunduin ko tapos susundo like yung dalawa kong the time mm-hmm. and so um, my schedule varied like Mondays to Fridays hatid ko yung dalawang bata and then I wait for them sa so either Starbucks anywhere na may internet na may food and pwede ako magsaksaka ng laptop dun ako nagstay while I'm waiting for my boys to get out of school. So, ang mga clients na nakuha ko, um, yung mga pwede ako mag-work now, hindi sa time, like, hindi may oras na fix na, ano, 9 p.m. to 6 a.m., ganyan. So, sin- yun, yun lang yung hinanap ko kasi yun, hindi nga ako pwede nang, you know, na nakaupo lang na fix. But, pero, Miss Mitzi, sorry. I think what's helpful, what became helpful for you, that could become helpful for 
everybody who's watching too, is you knew what your priority was. And so your number one priority all the time was your family, yes. was your boys, right? And so kasi, there are a lot of us who actually say yes to many projects because at the back of our minds, ang iniisip natin, we need to bring in the money. We need to bring in our income to survive, right? right. But it's a lot better if we can work smartly by choosing and so, or selecting the projects that we can say yes to um, and so that we can work around uh, what our priority is. So I think that's what's great about your story because you knew exactly what you wanted to prioritize. And then second to that, for the jobs that you said yes to, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Right, awesome. you're absolutely right. Um, you know, like kids were first and then of course I need to earn, but I know now kailangan kayanin ko so i had to work work on myself i had to um make sure alam my skills so dun talaga din like um going on online courses talagang i had to study study um mag-aral ulit ako ng mga like i want ngayon nag linkedin lead generation ako now pinag-aralan ko yon and like lahat ng tinuro sa akin even up until now lahat um well always welcome if you have tips um anything that i need to do better para um i can you know continuously uh, improve yeah, exactly mm -hmm. and then tapos i wanted to do some social media manage, managing so nag-aral ako noon and then meron din ako nakilala from my previous work na tinuruan niya din ako how to do it and then so like parang iba-ibang skills and hindi lang yung, ano meron iba ibang clients so now marami akong nakukuha clients na iba iba and don't parang sinabi rin ni Virginia before don't um, put all your eggs in one basket like wag isang work the right. form <laughs> but, but i mean unless you're starting out um, yes yun muna to focus on that but once na may mga acquire ka na ibang skills try to look for like clients na pwedeng one hour a day, ganyan. Kasi meron ako mga ganun eh, client na one hour a day lang, and then meron, like, marami sila. One is just two hours a day or three hours a week. So, marami ako iba-ibang clients na I can't just, pag nawalan ako ng work doon sa isa, meron pa din akong iba. Kasi nang, right. it happened to me, um, yung first job ko, um, home-based job, isa lang siya. And then, biglang after a year and a half or two years, nawala. I was we we were working for like a month with no pay, but I just kept working. Cause I niyisip ko it'll get better, it'll get better. Tapos biglang nawala na, like sinabi na oh we're no longer continuing. Um, so wala na. After nang wala na ako ng work, and if I had like you know other work like little part times, at least meron ako. But lesson learned. Um, do not make sure na meron ka pang backup. Cause ano. Para, plan B lagi. Yes, always, always. So, mm -hmm. ngayon marami akong plan B. So, um, <laughs> nung nag-pandemic, um, meron akong mga clients na sin parang, okay, let's hold this, let's hold muna kasi, syempre, um, hindi ako muna takot kasi parang, oh, I have other source of income, may iba akong clients. So, yun, yun lang. And, it, kaya yung schedule ko, it varies. Ngayon, medyo mas... <laughs> <laughs> hindi na ano na sila um parang Work ano na, na yes sila so ngayon naman ang ano ko is I'm a teacher <laughs> kasi <laughs> um online so nagturo naman ako ngayon but at least nandito pa rin ako hindi ako nagwo-worry na ma mahawak ko outside and sobrang blessed and um silver lining on this on what happened to me is siguro na ready ako ni God to st to um on the working from home aspect na nagkaroon itong pandemic um, I I was already I'm I know I quit equipped to stay at home alam ko na how to you know like um what do you call this yung parang to navigate around working from home alam ko na what to do so parang yun lang yun yun yung silver lining na nakita ko on everything that what, what happened what happened to me and my family so there wasn't a lot of adjustment that needed to be made. Just a tiny bit lang. Yung tiny pagiging bit. teacher na lang yung yes. <laughs> Oo, oh, yun. yun lang. Saka yung pagiging, I'm, I hope, nasa bahay kami, like 24-7, um, which is good kasi mas nadagdagan ko yung clients ko. Parang, 
ngayon um parang every this client for this hour tapos after this meron namang iba next hour na ayusin ko so um tas natutulog ako ng a few hours tas ganun ulit so okay na din um i'm happy masaya naman and yun okay um so my final thoughts um uh yun nga yung like i said before pag nag-start ka kasi you parang you're overwhelmed hindi mo alam what's gonna happen parang you're scared kasi syempre diba like me 12 years sa corporate world and like what am i gonna do yun ang alam ko eh and just uh keep going uh, don't stop parang i know you know parang always there's always um light at the end of the tunnel parang isipin mo oh my god hindi ko kaya to wala akong nakuhang work just um keep bettering yourself keep yun naman yun um yun nga mag-aral ka if may naisip ka na something that you'd like to do kasi ngayon mahirap like when you start pang an bang gusto kong gawin hindi mo naman alam um mm-hmm. but that's something uh, some like where you can start off is what you think you're good at maram if you're like fine arts maraming um pwede kang mag create, create content marami ganun um and then if magaling ka sa project management or if you're organized or um you can be a si assist executive assistant marami din ngayong CEOs that, that are looking for that executive assistant nice. and a tip lang um since the pandemic uh virtual assistant so kailangan maraming naghahanap like mga um uh, motivational coaches mga speakers mga okay. personal coaches marami sa LinkedIn they're looking for virtual assistants who they can, that can help them with nice. a lot of things yes yeah. time like their emails so parang pag VA ka kasi you need to have multiple skills um uh, search that and ang dami ang daming naghahanap and like sobrang blessed lang ako kasi like, yun nga yung sa LinkedIn sa LinkedIn meron din mga nag-a-approach na parang oh I see you're doing the uh, LinkedIn lead generation and mm-hmm. yung iba syempre hindi ko na rin makuha kasi ang dami na um but I'm happy to like to refer you know if like mara merong may gusto ng work like lead, lead generation or virtual assistant uh sobrang yun yun, yun like ngayon so isipin mo like um, wala akong work um online marami so uh, if you're now's the time to start um working from home and learning what uh about working from home so yun lang uh if if, you, if anybody have any questions for me or Oh, thank you for sharing your story, Ms. Maxi. <laughs> I hope everybody's also giving her a warm applause kahit virtual man lang at hindi, hindi na kayo makita. <laughs> Ms. Maxi, let's, summar- let's summarize some of the things that you already mentioned so that everybody who has joined us right now um, can probably pick up and then they might have more questions. And so okay. the first thing I think um, in your introduction, you mentioned that you... Uh, you went through this huge change and adversity in your life. And I think one thing that I have always said was um, everything you have ever wanted or needed is on the other side of fear. And that's probably what happened. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's probably what happened during that time where it was uncertain for you because you needed to provide for your kids. You had a wonderful 12-year job that you didn't want to let go of. But then you also didn't want to, uh, to, to let go of your kids and allow them to interpret on their own whatever is happening to their lives, right? Yes. And so, again, I think the lesson there is um, fear can be a motivation. A lot of people fear fear for the sake yes. of fearing fear, right? But it could also be your prime motivation. It could push you into cre- being creative. You, if, if you look at your story uh, and the steps that you had to take, you have to start off with what you know. Like, you listed down all of your skills, Mina. And then that's what you put in your LinkedIn. Um, you also created a portfolio so that you can show people, hey, this is what I can do. Magubuha tell them unless you show them this is what I've done. And then you also continue 
continue learning because there's so much more that you can learn. And I think one of the things that I also picked up was uh, learning and keeping up with the trends because you also learned social media management. And to be honest, when we since batchmates tayong lahat, <laughs> wala naman tayong social media management nung ano eh, nung panahon natin. Diba? And in, in mass communications, I, I, I graduated from Miriam, uh, Miriam College with a communication arts degree. And there was nothing about social media. <laughs> but, <laughs> and so you always have to keep up with the trends, right? And then learn it kasi that's how you evolve with the times and then you create the opportunities you look for the opportunities you never stop and and that's also probably the reason why nung pumasok na sa new normal yung mga tao na i work from home na kami bigla i've never done this i've i've, I've never had to juggle between my kids being at home and me working pero ikaw si tipong chill lang ako kasi alam ko na to eh kabisado ko na to eh di ba and so I, I think I, I think one of the reasons why um, it became easy for you to just adjust or not even to adjust was because you created those opportunities for yourself, right? And then to get the support that you needed, dahil hindi wala ka namang masyadong alam na kung sino nag work from home at that time eh, or who's yes. working online, you joined communities and found your support groups who could who could tell you, who could give you leads on these opportunities. And it always helps to have a support group with you, especially if you don't have a lot of people who believe in what you're doing online. Am I right? Yes, right. <laughs> right, and so um, you will get, you will also get many no's in your life when you're starting off, because I know that um, somebody commented earlier that it's their first time, right? Uh, and they're a virtual assistant. Know that it's normal that you will get rejections at first because again, you haven't built your strong portfolio yet, right? So you start off with what you know, start off with your basic skills, build a strong portfolio starting with either one or two clients, but don't put everything in one basket as you've already grown that strong portfolio with one or two clients, then you can diversify by looking for your many plan Bs, B1, B2, B3, B4. And so you can find a lot more opportunities and clients. It just really depends on how you choose and what you choose to do after every step that you take. Yes. So in summary, I think that's what I got from... Uh, your very inspiring story, J Jomar. Did you want to add any of your uh, any insights there?
Yes. <laughs> Sana may na-inspire ako kahit um, one or two. Um, Meron. Just... <laughs> si Nora, sabi niya, very inspiring and motivating. Thank you. Just keep on um, working and don't give up. Yun lang ang sasab- ang sasabihin ko because there were there were times na gusto ko na mag-give up and parang ayoko na, hindi ko na kaya. I'll just do something else and but then the next day I woke up and I did it again and nag-aral ako and yun, um, that's what got got me here and just marami pa akong kailangang malaman sa buhay like this this job I'm working from home but every day I'm learning something so meron din tayong questions Miss Mitzi uh, okay. Arvin is asking how do you cope with virtual meetings burnout? Um, actually, yung mga clients ko, kasi we don't really have meetings. And like, we do like Skype for 15 minutes. So, pero minsan nakakapagod nga siya. Like, meron akong one time pang sunod 30 minutes, 45 minutes. Just... After one every meeting, what I do is um, I just go and like drink water, parang stretch, parang look at something on Facebook or dun sa mga anak ko um, ma- laro mo na kami, just so that parang di ako nakaupo the whole time. Parang o tayo mo na ako. I need to stretch, um, eat something, drink something, and then come back. And kasi I don't know now kasi since pagka sa company, I'm sure nag all day kayo nagme-meeting and just say, okay, I'm going on break. <laughs> Siguro pwede ka mag... Um, ganun. I, I think there's a lot of value in asking for a break because what you also want to do is you want to evaluate every single meeting that you're invited to. Kasi minsan, happy-go-lucky lang yung mga nag invite sa meeting na, ah, you're from this department. I, I think I should invite the entire department. Uh. And so, <laughs> and so you need to, you need to ask yourself what value can I add to this meeting? And then if you don't know what your what your value is in that meeting, you have to ask the meeting organizer what sh- what should you be expecting from me in this meeting? And if there's nothing, then you can decline you can politely decline the meeting naman. Um I think you have to help safeguard your own energy eh. Kasi pag yes ka nang yes sa mga meetings, ah, good luck sa <laughs> Buong araw ka talaga na back-to-back meetings yan. Yes, and it is tiring. Parang makapagod siya sa mata, sa leeg, sa likod. So, so right. that's when you can get um, a nice chair, office chair, para malambot. So, <laughs> Kah- kahit ano, kahit mag-upisa kang hindi masyado magandang chair, so lagyan mo muna ng unan. Unan, <laughs> yes. That's what I did. And then, mga next sweldo or next to sweldo, mag-upgrade ka na ng, ano, yeah, ng so, chair. Yeah. And natutulog din ako sa desk ko noon kasi gabi yung work ko. So. <laughs> <laughs> Kailangan may unan. <laughs> Do we have any? Ah, uh, I think this is a question for you, Joe Mark from Denver. May replay po ba? Yes. Speaking of questions, we have one more question para wala hindi natin ma miss. Um, from Arvin as well, he's asking how how do you maintain physical restrictions in a work from home arrangement? Siguro ito, I, uh, maybe my inter- interpretation of this is what you were saying, Joe Mark, earlier where nasa kabilang part ka ng bahay or it's or for Miss Mitzi I think you have to talk with your kids and and explain that you're gonna be in a meeting so that 
they don't disturb you, right? So yes, I yes. think that's what it is. Can you guys share how what else you do? Paso <laughs> ba? So, so yung sa physical restriction in a work from home arrangement mo is that little corner in your lot where it's just your own. Okay, got it. Miss Mitzi, any other best practices from your end? Um, for me, kasi I work inside the bedroom because this is where my kids are usually are like playing toys or basa nag video games. Nandito sila. So pag napapagod ako, actually I just look at them and say like. At least I'm here. I I can see them grow up. I can be with them, and I earn money at the same time. So now I'm Oh yeah, <laughs> I don't need to go out. Um, talagang yun lang. Like I'm still blessed that I can still you know be around my kids. So, uh, kahit na minsan wala na akong tulog, I'm so tired. I'll just tell them like, oh, five minutes, mommy will sleep. They'll leave me alone. Oh, close my eyes. Just ready na ulit. Fight na ulit sa work. So. <laughs> They have such understanding boys. Because <laughs> <laughs> I can hear, I, I've been seeing a lot of posts where parents are struggling with calming their kids down while they're taking calls or they're doing work or on a meeting. And so it, it just really depends what your conversations are with everybody else at home. Like for Joe Mark, he literally needs a wall. <laughs> There's a wall that separates him and everybody else for miss mitzi she just needs them to be quiet but there because it's like a picture that's live that motivates you throughout whatever you do in the day yes and i tell them like um this is my job so this is how i earn so if i don't earn wala kayong food wala kayong toy so <laughs> is that what you want and then no motivation okay. by fear then <laughs> eh, silang kumain, so they <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, oh, and I'm a coach also basketball. So, kino coach ko rin ang anak ko sa basketball. So, <laughs> <laughs> nakuha ka sa isang tingin na type <laughs> yeah. of discipline. <laughs> Just sharing with you as well, Miss Mitzi Paul Joshua says. Uh, there are no dead ends, just detours. You just have to be positive enough to break every wall you hit and will hinder you. Yes, thank you. You're right. Tama. Ayan. Is there anything else that I'm missing? Does anybody else have any questions or insights that you'd like to share in the comments? Say the... Ano lang naman yung bahala ka kung anong, whatever floats your boat. Matayo. Yeah. <laughs> 
May table na gano'n na? Meron, Meron. na gano'n. Mm-hmm. So th- there are a lot of solutions na eh, kasi meron ding standing table where you just push the button tapos it'll go down and then push the button again and then it'll level up. So it depends on your comfort level na lang. But then kung hindi, if that takes up too much space, I saw something on, uh, I saw something online na parang laptop table pero it also has that push button where ah, yeah. tumataas pwede, yes pwede din siyang mag lift and then pwede ding bumaba so there are so many options lalo na ngayon a lot of businesses have seen the opportunities uh, that work from home has brought and so ang dami ng creativity Mm, I do think so. I think that's pretty much it. Miss Mitzi, any parting final final inspirational words for everybody? Um, just don't give up. So if you think that you want to work from home or just do it. Bukas uh, or right now after our live, go ahead. You can do it. If I did it, I know. True. Girl power, but it's yes. it's not just girl power. <laughs> everybody it's, power. It's everybody power. <laughs> All power. Yes, and advance Happy Father's Day. Thank you. Angel Mark. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Don't just follow, connect na rin. Oh, connect. <laughs> All right. Thank you everyone. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Bye everybody. Bye.